Julian, smile and tell them what you know is true. Lyritrol is a great drug. Edward is wrong, and we're looking into the allegation. What if he's not wrong? I need to find out what really happened. Now, the thing that I love about deception, it's, it's someone was saying earlier, it's like this deliciously bad, you know, show, the show about these, you know, good and evil, you know. Turn on the TV. In the effort to rush Lyritrol to market, shortcuts were taken. And for me, it's an opportunity to show some vulnerability because Beverly Padgett is in early signs of Alzheimer's. And, you know, my, the characters I usually play are these women who are on top of their game and, you know, are in charge. And here's a woman who is going through a time in her life that is very confusing. I can handle Robert. What I want to know is what Julian was doing coming out of your room this morning. What do you think he was doing? Robert is now not sure of Joanna, why she's there. He's suspicious and he knows that her mother is suffering from Alzheimer's because Robert knows everything. He'll get the information you know, you can't keep it from them. Why don't you just wear glasses? Well, because I still care about my parents. Does Will know what you're doing? No. So he sends for her and hopes that in the middle of this crisis that she's going through, that she'll reveal who her daughter is. Can you please mind your business? Well, I would love to, but I was yanked out of my nice apartment by Robert Bowers, and now I'm back in this house of horrors. And the backstory is that she used to work for the family, and so she knows all the players. So it's not someone who's brought into a situation where she's unknown. She knows everyone and was there for all the children. So it, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with this character just in this three-story arc. You think Mia might have lost us down here? Well, who knows? This whole family sheds jewelry like dog fur.